Do you know about the latest good news from Australian State Migration Queensland? The Migration Queensland program is now open. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel, a 2Z immigration updates. Please note, if you are a skilled applicant, you must submit a brand new EOI from Tuesday the 26th of October 2021. If you are a business applicant, they will pick up your EOI from the 1st of July 2021. To review the Department of Home Affairs and Migration Queensland criteria for each state nominated visa subclass, such skilled visas and business visas. Its link is in the description box. For further details on the status of the business and skilled programs, please see the business program, skilled program, and 491 SBO, small business owners, pathway, tiles under program updates on the Migration Queensland homepage, its link is given in the description box. They look forward to receiving your application welcoming you to the beautiful state of Queensland. But applicants with AS48 bar will not be considered for Queensland state nomination. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk also announced today that international students will be able to return to study in Queensland in 2022. In a Twitter post, she said students will be the first to use the regional quarantine facility at Wellcamp. International students entering Queensland's borders must be fully vaccinated and a proportion of students will study at universities outside of Brisbane. According to the Australian Associated Press, Innovation Minister Sterling Hinchliffe said up to 250 international students will be allowed to fly into Queensland's borders per week and quarantine at the state's facility at Wellcamp, near Toowoomba, which is still under construction. The plan still needs federal government approval, with the state also asking for international flights to be permitted to land at Wellcamp Airport. The minister said there were over 20,000 international university students currently enrolled in Queensland, who have been studying online from their 160 home countries. The sector delivers $5.8 billion Australian dollars to the economy and supported 27,500 jobs annually. Other developments on international students return to Australia. Recently, the ACT government said they will welcome back international tertiary education students who are fully vaccinated with the Therapeutic Goods Administration, TGA, recognised COVID-19 vaccines for the start of the 2022 academic year. The first phase of the New South Wales pilot plan will see 250 international students flying in on chartered flights, paid for by the students, per fortnight by the end of the year. Under the first stage of the Victorian government's student arrivals plan, 120 places will be available each week for Victorian university students, prioritising those who need to undertake practical work to continue or complete the degrees, such as health and medical degree students, as well as postgraduate research students. Separately, the Australia travel bubble with Singapore will allow vaccinated students and business travellers to travel freely between Australia and Singapore as the first step, before opening up to tourists. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.